ex-Alameda deputy can no longer work as California officer after Santa Rita jail feces attack. The four guards are accused of helping inmates gas each other. Now that is a prison term, meaning to throw saved feces and urine at jail guards. And in this case, it was allegedly reversed with the guards helping inmates gas each other. This happened in the maximum security section of the Santa Rita jail, which does not have cameras in it. What is it with law enforcement and feces of all things. Back in December 2022, almost 200 episodes ago, shameless plug, I caught the story of Matthew Luckhurst, a San Antonio police officer who was fired for giving a homeless person a feces sandwich. He ran to another department like most cops do nowadays in Floresville, Texas. And when the people found out who he was, they told the mayor that they do not want him policing our streets. Feces is not only disgusting, it has a very dehumanizing attitude aspect to it. It's a punishment. And just like your counterparts on the streets, your job in corrections, it's not to give out punishment. It's to sleep with the inmates. No, it's to keep order within the facility. Anything other than that, you're forgetting your station. A former Alameda County Sheriff's deputy is on California's police officer decertification list after she was convicted of orchestrating a feces throwing attack against a man incarcerated at Santa Rita Jail. Your job is not to dole out any punishment to anyone that is way above your pay grade. Sarah Krause was listed on the Commission of Peace Officer Standards or POST decertification list on October 7th. As of Friday, she was one of 381 officers up for decertification. I guess there's going to be some job openings, huh? Which means if approved by commissioners, they can no longer work as law enforcement anywhere in the state. I love this. California California enacted this law in January 2023. Sheriff Ahern himself told KPIX 5 that this investigation began back in January when internal affairs came to him with the allegations. Now, there are four guards allegedly involved Eric McDermott, Stephen Sarkos, Sarah Krause, Justin Lynn. They are facing charges ranging from intimidation of a witness to assault under the color of authority. It's become apparent, it's become glaring that law enforcement doesn't care about terminating nations anymore. They don't care about being fired. They'll go to another precinct. They won't even change their behavior. They won't even better themselves. They'll continue doing the same thing that got them fired at the last precinct. We need more of these decertifications. Give these people something to really think about before they go trigger happy or they commit some other type of extreme police misconduct. I would like to see federal decertifications. You can't practice anywhere in the country, but baby steps. State by state is a good start. Krause, who hasn't worked for the sheriff since 2018, and her former colleague, ex-deputy Steven Sarkos, pleaded guilty in 2020 to being part of an attack on Fernando Miguel Soria, who they thought was disrespectful to Krause in 2016. Wait a minute. What does disrespectful mean in this context? Because let's not forget, you're in an entire building where the majority of people don't respect law or law enforcement, period. It should be bad background music at this point. Either you feed into it or you don't. Either you acknowledge it or you don't. Krause pushed the button from a control room to open the cell door in housing unit 1, F-Pod, and Sarkos then escorted a man who was carrying two cups filled with his own feces and urine upstairs to Surya's cell. According to testimony at court hearings, the second door was opened and the man threw his cups of feces and urine into the cell, then shut the door like something out of mayor of Kingstown after the allegations came to light Krauss was fired and Sarkos quit his job. In addition to Sarkos and Krauss, two other deputies were also arrested on similar charges. Those deputies are Justin Lynn and Eric McDermott. They were in on it too. Of the four, Krauss's name was the only one on the decertification list. They were all in on it. You got to cut the whole cancer, not just a part of it. Sheriff Greg Ahern released this statement. We have completed a very thorough investigation. Only these four individuals are identified as involved in this criminal activity. We have sought charges against the four individuals, and they must now answer to these allegations. Although these allegations are shocking, the actions of these four individuals do not reflect the professionalism and dedication of the 1,600 employees who work at the Alameda County Sheriff's Office. There you have it, kids. Sarah Krause and the Poop Patrol. Do you think her buddy should be up for decertification? Also, I sure do. But tell me what you think.